Honey, Wake Up, the latest installment of the Duck Life series just dropped. Everybody's favorite 2000s Flash game series has a full-fledged game with a full story to boot. The basic premise is you're a duck, makes sense, who ends up on an island where you meet other ducks, invite them into your flock, and train to be the greatest flock to ever do it. Training events of old have been beautifully redesigned, intuitive interactions, appealing visuals, there's even an interactive hub world where you and your flock set up camp, scavenge for resources, and cook your own food using ingredients that you farmed yourself. First impressions, it seems like a super fun addition to the Duck Life franchise, I'm very excited to see what's in store. If you like this and you want to check it out yourself, the Wix Games team has kindly given me three Steam keys to give away to viewers who also enjoy Duck Life. So if you want to check it out, leave a comment below and I'll pick three at random to send the keys over to. Without further ado, let's jump right in. If you're anything like me, you're very familiar with Duck Life, but I'm used to the ones that are like browser games, you know, where you're just, you know, you're training your duck, trying to win races and stuff, and it's like super simple. Apparently this one is taking that, but like making it a full-fledged 3D version of it and everything. So we're gonna take a look at it, see how it is. Let's just take a moment and appreciate the music. I love this background music already. It's gonna be good. I'm very excited. So let's jump right into it. So I'm just starting this here, so everything that happens here is my genuine first impression. Um, so it looks like we get to choose a duck, not unlike Pokemon, but we get five options. Athlete, very good at running, horrid at jumping and balancing. Seems a little weird for an athlete. I feel like athletes should be good at most stuff. The Alpine climbing makes sense. Aviator, okay. I want to do Aviator because I love planes and it's really cool. I genuinely don't think it's going to be very competitive because flying, at least in the other duck lives, was not very common, I don't feel like. I mean, I think running is just going to be the best. We also have an all-arounder. This is Mario and we have Aquatic. If I were to just pick based on what seems to be the most useful stat, we got to go with the running. It's got to happen. An excellent choice too. Look at that. It's hatching. It's like Pokemon evolutions. This is Catamon right here. <laughs> Who's our Catamon? Congratulations. Nickname. Might as well call him Table, right? This is our duck table. What do you mean retry? <laughs> if you don't like the look of him, what? <laughs> Hold on, does that? Oh no, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I'm not loving the hairstyle, but I, I don't want to make him sad again. All right, table it is. Let's jump into it. Today's special coverage. Mm -hmm, okay. So we're late entries into this this race here. Okay. I have a feeling we're gonna lose this race. <laughs> if I had to guess. Let's see, so this guy up front. Come on, table. This guy's blocking the race. We're supposed to be good at running, by the way, and we're in last. <laughs> we're in dead friggin' last right now. And the only one that we're supposed to be good at. Except for this dude. I don't know what happened to this guy. He forgot to fly. Okay, so he's taking the river. This guy's really... Oh, okay, hold on. <laughs> what is happening? They're all dying out here. Are we actually going to be fine? We're going to be the last duck standing? Take it to Featherhaven Island. Can't tell if it's going to be like a thick upset. Oh, he's going to construction zone. That's not good. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Okay, I I take it back. I think we're gonna win. I think we're gonna be just fine. This is a very undramatic finish, I suppose. What an incredible race. Look at this. Okay, we go to Featherhaven Island. I presume that's where we're gonna be doing our training. See, now normally you lose the first race in duck life, so now how does this work? Doug the dog. Doug Dimidome out here. Not expecting you this early. 
Um, I think we got running covered actually, Doug. Thanks though. Until next week, we aren't supposed to be here. <laughs> ah, so we have to build the tent. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I see. You can build things in your flock using the upgrade well. What is my flock? Am I going to have multiple ducks? Okay. So we need to build a tent. Bear grill style. Oh, we have to position it somewhere. I mean, let's do it. Well, we don't want to get flooded out here. I don't want to be too close to the river. Let's just be within within walking distance of the well, right? <laughs> I wouldn't either. Okay. Generate crystal feathers when they sleep. Okay. Sure. Alright, sure. Yeah. We got a race. I told you, bro. We're already good at running. Train me in something else. Okay, so now we have to build the training center. Dude, <laughs> Doug's been sleeping on the job out here. He's been hard slacking. At least it costs us nothing. Oh, we are literally sleeping next to the training center. Olympic style. I love the art, by the way. This is fantastic. Train running. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. Normally, it's like really simple training games and it's kind of just repetitive over and over um but this has a lot more to it this is like wipeout <laughs> we're playing wipeout over here let's check it out all right so we're using i don't know if that's wazd or the arrow keys we'll start with wazd and see how it goes yeah wazd works okay so looks like you can't jump so we have to go through this little area beautiful now I'm curious how this is going to get more difficult, because in the past Duck Life games, it's gone faster to make it harder. So it seems like we're going at our own pace, like we can just stop here and do a little jig, hang out for a sec. So I'm curious how it's going to be, how you get to the prohibitively difficult part of the, the training. Get a little, ooh, four crystal feathers. Not sure what those do, but we'll take them. Yeah, so now we're just kind of going through. We are already on tier six. Look at that. I mean, so far I'm loving the the responsiveness of like the indications and stuff. Maybe responsiveness isn't the right word, but you can tell exactly where those punching bags are gonna go down and where they're gonna hit and everything. Which just feels like, like it feels fair, you know? Sometimes with 3D games, it can be really tricky to gauge depth perception. So it's nice to have that little feedback. And dude, we just got a clear run through here. That one was easy. Reminds me of the Mario Sunshine secret levels where you go around those rotating pillars. And <laughs> those are the jankiest things ever. I'm hoping we don't get it get too janked on this one so far it doesn't seem jank that's good still haven't really gotten to the the particularly difficult section yet okay something was rumbling and i just realized my console controller apparently you can use controllers <laughs> is just rumbling over there every time something hits Okay, well here's a little tricky part. This is like super monkey ball style. These tiny little rails you're trying to run over. Okay, oh, gotta do a little backtracking here. Almost just jigged out over there. All right, keep it going. You might need to fast through a few of these, fast forward through a few of these training segments. Lane. We're doing kind of good. We're cooking out here. Oh, we got seeds? Hell yeah. Now, if it's seeds like in the other Duck Life games... Jesus, this is a little dicey. Um, the other Duck Life seeds were like stamina. So maybe we'll get a little stamina interaction here. I don't think that first game was a true representation of how the races go. 
So we'll have to see how that, how it actually pans out when we're racing for real. And not the cutscene where all of the other racers just plunge to their dooms. Alright, we're already up at 18. I mean, we're kind of just cooking out here. Low key. Oh, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I swear I didn't hit right there. Maybe. Okay, well, right as I said that, we get struck with the fall into the water bit. You can build all sorts of things in your flock. All right, I didn't catch the rest of that, but I got the gist. Let's just leave the training center. Let's take a little look around here. I wonder if you can make it up these muddy stairs. I mean, I'm down to try. Why are you chopping wood? <laughs> Come back over here. So if I do the WASD keys, it moves the camera. Oh, you click on it. Now this homie stops chopping wood. Let me guess. You slip. Oh, just kidding. Maybe we're just that cracked at running. Or we can run up muddy stairs. Okay, I see. So yeah, you click somewhere to move there. Okay. We got a little duck village hanging out over here. Who are you? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Is that all you have to say? Oh, I was supposed to click the text bubble to make it say it. Okay. He thinks he's so... Yeah, dude. That guy I didn't realize was a dude. Apparently his name is Gareth. But guess what? <laughs> Doesn't even know how to swim. Penguin over by the river? Alright, see, now that's what we need. We don't need these heckin' running missions. We need swimming. Teach me how to swim, Mr. Percy the Penguin. Well, yeah, dude, we <laughs> Duh. Okay, so it's not only ducks. Hence this homie in the back. I don't know. I'm not sure what animal that is. Maybe a mouse? A rat, perhaps? It looks like a rat tail. I mean, a larger flock. How large? <laughs> how large are we talking? Three ducks? I don't even know how to get two ducks. All right. A little coins. Ooh. Hello. <laughs> we got a little peeper over here. Yeah, watching TV. Sure. All right. Who who can we talk to that has something meaningful to say? I guess we didn't actually talk to you. Thank you. Training your stats. That sounds like someone who hasn't been training. <laughs> Um, I'll even let you recruit me for your flock. Mm. All right, Gareth, let's see what you got. Let's see if you're actually good at this. Okay, so we're smoking him and running. Um, he's really good at jumping, but he's level zero. So he's looking kind of, kind of weak. I think we got this. He's a cheer ability. Okay, so there is an energy bar, there is a cheer functionality. And we're going. We have 56 energy. I don't think we're going to cheer until we need to. Oh, we're like dead tied right now. I just don't want to run into the end where we're, you know, we run out of energy. But maybe we cheer a little bit. Oh, there's the thing. Just kidding. <laughs> there's the end. Eat that, Gareth. Just smoked his ass. He doesn't really look that depressed. He doesn't look like he just lost a race. He's just kinda there. Oh, loot boxes. Okay, so we got some seeds. We got three runt, which is a fish, I suppose, and then 30 coins. Sure. There's a lot of ducks that want to join the flock. Okay. Maybe we keep Gareth in the back of our minds. We'll put him on the back burner. 
Yeah, I don't care, Gareth. <laughs> no offense, but... I don't know, Gareth rubs me the wrong way a little bit. What do you have to say? Ooh, it's the quest. Yes, sir. Sunflowers. No? Okay. Sure, I'll take them. Flower patch. Build a flower patch in the flock to generate some. Okay. Um, can we build them wherever? Do I have to go back to our home to build? Where are the flowers? Hmm, I don't see any flowers in here. I feel like we've been lied to. Okay, well, um, let's, let's swing on back here. Go back to the flock. Tell a duck what to do by clicking on him. Sure, sure. Um, we don't have a house for you, so that's not going to happen. What do we got? I'm assuming we can build one. Ooh, just kidding. Hold on. Place where you can store a variety of seeds. Okay, we have a ton of crystal feathers, so we might as well build this thing. Put it... This is flowers, right? We can put some flowers outside of our hut. No farming tools. Come on. What do we need? Hatchet? Rake is probably pretty good. We need wood, though. Okay. I think we're going to have to postpone our flowers here. We can build a flower patch. I want to put it in front of the tree. We'll put it next to the road. We'll spruce things up a little bit. Okay, so it says 15 seconds, but it's not doing anything. Maybe I have to be awake. We might have to actively build it, you know? Wait, hold on. What is this? Construction helper. Hold on, I didn't actually pay attention to what I was clicking. Seed box? Sure, we'll build a seed box. Um, we'll put it... Uh, we can't tuck it in the corner there. Hey, the flock slept well. Isn't that nice? Oh, you can put it in the path? Well, that seems silly. Um, we'll put it here. Okay, so yeah, you have to actively build it. So that's why it'd be good to have multiple ducks. You can get multiple things built at the time at the same time. But yeah, so we don't have any resources right now. So I think we're just gonna have to... I guess we can build this thing. We just gotta go out and explore. Find some resources. What do we got in here? We know all that stuff. Alerts. What do we got? Oh, okay, so we already saw all these. See, I was picturing alerts as being, oh, look at this. You can harvest some flowers. I thought the alerts were going to be like quests kind of idea, but it doesn't look like it. Okay, so I think we just need to keep training some more. Let's train running a little bit extra. Get going on that one. Try to get to level 3. Pretty sure we did that already, but I can do it again. You want to see me do it again? <laughs> Look how fast I can run to the other side of the room and back. Okay. We may speed through some of these, like fast forward through a few of the, the training sessions. If they take too long, we'll see. But they are kind of a bot. It's the thing about duck life. It's... It's the kind of game, if you enjoy these, like, repetitive training things, slowly upgrading your homies, this is the perfect game for you. As all the guys play these games all the time growing up, you just sit there for, <laughs> for hours just playing these, trying to rank up your duck to the highest level possible, and just absolutely demolish whatever race you're supposed to be running. It's like the definition of, in, like, Pokemon, where you, you're, like, in the first area, and you just get distracted training up your guys to an absurd level. And then you finally go and do the story and it's like a cakewalk. It's like that kind of vibe. Oh, I can actually go underneath these. But then I don't get coins. Pros and cons. This game feels like it would be very good, this minigame at least, with the, um, the controller. To help traverse some of these little tricky boardwalk sections. I mean, we're kind of cooking right now. We're doing work. I was a little worried if you run into one of these, you just die. 
because that's what some of the old duck lives were. If you hit any obstacles, it was over. So I'm glad it doesn't do that. Because that was always a bummer. Okay. See how far we can get. Training time, let's go. Oh, we got some runs. Actually, yes. Oh, just got in front of the vein. Love to see it. Wind is like tripping over the edge there. Trying to tempt you to run off the side. I'm not gonna fall for it. There we go. This is a little shady. I guess like crosswalks. A little side shuffle action. This is the one I died on last time. Beautiful. Let's wait for these things to go. We're not in a rush. I'm gonna handle it. The hardest part is dismounting, I'm realizing. Trying to get off of the spinning thing. <laughs> and I think this is gonna be a little tricky. Oh my lord. I can't tell how strict the, the hitboxes are on these things. You know? Like, am I just... If I step one foot off, am I done for? I don't know. <laughs> it's a little intimidating. Okay, we're, we're through. Can get to 20. Can't already see none. Gotta get the coins, so that's, that's a must. That's a deal breaker if you don't, if you don't grab all the coins. Non-negotiable, if you will. Come on, we're just making a break for it. Oh, heck to the yes. How fast can we go? Can we go without stopping? Oh, baby. We're just cooking out here. I'm telling you, this duck is a natural born runner. Come on. These ones are a little tricky. Oh no! <laughs> I thought I could thread the needle! Feels bad, man. Alright, surely that's good enough for the dog, right? We are not a beginner anymore. Wait, what happened to part two? Cyclone crossing and trapdoor tumble. <laughs> okay. Ducks are social creatures. I'm trying to, brother. Sometimes you just you can't afford a house, you know? Okay, so we need wood. Which I think means we need to... Wait, no, I don't want to edit. I just want to... Okay, we click on you. Yeah, 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 okay. Chop some wood. We need to make a house. How much wood are we going to need here? Bro, you better chop quicker than that. We're not getting any wood. There's one. Let's just time lapse this wood here too. Three. Four. Five. Well, that's an issue. Um. I'm not sure how that's going to work. Got to go to the bathroom. You can never have too many flowers. That's not true. No, we should probably build a toilet. Let's be real. <laughs> we'll put it down by the river. You can accidentally fall in at night. Eh, I mean, we don't want a whole campsite to smell bad, you know? Come on. We got standards. Ducks have standards. We'll just make sure we shower and bathe upstream. <laughs> That'll be the one requirement. I mean, that being said, can we move this thing? I kind of want to, like, downstream it a little bit. Yeah, okay. Right? Shouldn't really be an issue. Okay, look for more Doug the Dog. Copy. We can do that. You're like Doug the Dog. What do you have for us? Yeah, why not? Energy! Okay. Yes, please. Give me some meals. Three duck root. Okay, I see what we need to do with the, the seeds now. This is a beetroot, by the way. That's not a duck root. I think I got this one covered, Mona. <laughs> I think we can figure this one out. Chopped duck root. Surely you don't need the pot for this one. Okay, maybe, maybe they cook it too. I don't know. Yeah, makes sense. That tracks. Aw, oh, thanks. Um, no, I think we're good. What do you want? <laughs> I mean, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, we already know that. Gosh. What do you have to say? Astronaut duck? That was all Drake. Okay. Where can I get one of those? Found her. Okay, sure. Alright, so, can I like chop you down? No. Need to figure out how to get wood. That's my primary goal right now. Yes sir, it does. 
Just like me on the race track. I'm loving the haircut, Walter. <laughs> Let's go. I'm gonna smoke him if it's a running race. Anything else and I'm probably gonna be in trouble. Oh, dude, it's not even close. Energy-wise, he's got me beat, but who cares? We're not gonna run out, right? Surely not. I think we need to see if there's like a map, right? Like, tell how close we are to the end so we know whether we should use this cheering or not. Oh, well, there it is. Found it. You're not. Oh, dude, Walter just got absolutely smoked. <laughs> nice try, Walter. Do we even want Walter on our team? You'd have to ask sometimes, you know? Is Walter going to be a valuable dish into our flock? Seed spice. I, I I don't know which spice that's supposed to Is that all spice? Maybe? Is that that's supposed to be uh, referencing? <laughs> sure. You have to work on the house first, but... You can be our swimmer, Walter. Makes sense, makes sense. We try to add, you can build a tent, okay. We can't add you. Oh, our tree grew back. I don't think that's how that works, but that's awesome. <laughs> I don't think trees can just grow back from stumps like that, but that works for me. If it means getting another tent, we'll take it. Beautiful. Alright. Build a heckin' house. Oh, we only have five. Did we build something? Oh, we built the outhouse. That's right. Okay. So let's do this. Hold on. Maybe do a cooking pot over here. Next to our tent. Maybe down by the river a little bit. In a van down by the river. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna build this, we're gonna sleep, so that the tree grows back overnight, apparently. And then we're gonna harvest again. And then we'll be cooking. We'll get a nice little duck going on here. I don't know if we should bring Walter or Gareth on our team, though. Both seem like iffy options, if you ask me. Can I just, like, tell you to go to sleep? Yes. Okay. And then how does this work time-lapse-wise? <laughs> Do I have to sit here and watch it go? Things, maybe? No? I don't see any way to, to fast-forward time. Okay. We can quickly travel, that's true. Thanks for the reminder, Doug. What's in here? We haven't gone into the tournament building yet. Need a ticket. No. Hello. Can you give me a ticket? No. Doesn't look like it. Alright, Gordon. Whatever. So I'm curious, so we have a flock, right? Are you gonna be able to like relay race these homies? Is that how this is gonna work? I'm I'm not sure if we're gonna if we should be diversifying. Like each duck has its specialty, if you will. Oh, our tree grew back. Hell yeah. I, I don't want to kick you out, but there we go. Okay, we need to cut this tree down, brother. Okay, we're finally getting our tent built. Once we cut this tree down. There it is. Okay. Build me a tent. I don't want him to be like that close to me. We'll have barracks down here. <laughs> we'll have duck barracks. Where they're all just sitting down by the forest. Fending off the bears and other wildlife. This feels like a Walter kind of vibe. Feels like Walter would live by the stairs. Come on Walter, where are you at? Or can I just recruit him from the menu, maybe? 
Mm, alert. If you build trees, your ducks can cut them down. That's true. Here we go, okay. So Gareth is another runner. We don't need a runner. Oh, dude. Walter is an A tier swimmer. <laughs> okay. Walter, you're on the team. Welcome. Okay. Um, let's do... We should probably build another tree, right? I feel like wood is a very useful commodity. Can we... Okay, I'll stick you there. We'll build a little forest over here. And then... Make you harvest some flowers while Walter's building. Yeah, because then we're going to have to do these two trees. We're going to have to cut them both down. And then we can get our third duck. And then we're cooking. Um, maybe we do a hatchet upgrade. Make them chop trees a little quicker, you know? What did the heck did you do to the flower bed table? <laughs> what on earth? This guy's insane. Okay. Surely we do not need a modern sculpture right now. Just cannot imagine that's a good idea. Um, okay. What the heck are you- Oh, you're training him? You're doing a little running together? Sure, alright. I think we should do one running lesson. One final one to rule them all. Abel's gonna be our running goat, let's be real. Oh, see, now we're talking. He says easy. I agree. Oh, this is entirely new. Okay, well now I see how this could get a little dicey. You gotta... You gotta adjust all these new... New difficult obstacles and whatnot. We're gonna greet a little bit, get some coins. Oh, baby. Still trying to get a feel for how quickly these tiles flip. A lot of these obstacles are reminding me of different games. I feel like the flipping tiles, I think of the... Super Mario Sunshine Secret World again. But less jank, of course. The beauty of modern software. Okay, we go through here. Oh, I almost just tossed myself. That would have been dangerous. Alright. We're gone. We got enough levels. Build farming patches. Okay, sure. It's a reasonable suggestion. Why don't you plant something over here, bucko? Can you not plant something over there? I mean, we have seeds, so why are we not... We might need tools. Doesn't specify, not in the farming text at least. But I imagine we need something like a rake. Rake would probably do it. Who the heck are you? Headmaster Hoot? <laughs> okay. Grow a duck root. Brother, I'm trying. A little advice. We need a gardener's shed, of course. What was I thinking? I'm going without a gardener's shed. I don't know if we can't, though. Like, I'm assuming it would be here. Maybe not. Oh, here it is. Crystal. Okay, well, we need them to get tired, I think is what, what we have left to do here. Oh, he's just tutoring him. I love it. 
<laughs> He's a little angry though. Chill out, brother. Okay. Maybe we should sleep for a second. Get some crystal feathers, you know? Um, I guess we can have you sleep too. We might as well. Okay, so they're both sleeping. Gotta chill. Wait for them to wake up and then give us some crystal feathers. I don't know why their feathers turn crystal when they sleep. Might be some duck lore that we have yet to get privy to. How long are they gonna sleep for? <laughs> I don't wanna wake them up. I wanna get my crystal feathers, but y'all gotta hurry it up in there. Alright, you can't possibly need that much sleep, right? Oh, you're almost done. <laughs> He's sleeping again? That was just a nap, apparently. Oh! You give feathers! Okay. Hold on. So that means we can build our thing here now. Heck yeah, alright. The shed is gonna go right here. And you're gonna have to wake up and start building, brother. You gonna build? Yeah. Okay. And you need to wake up and start flower harvesting, I guess. Do something useful, you're not even tired. Oh, we got the cooking pot, lovely. <laughs> lovely money, I agree. Um, let's see, level 10 energy. Not gonna happen. Bro, can you stop sleeping? It's not... You're not even tired. Okay, so... Yeah, okay. He had to get his rake real quick. But now we're good. What are you doing? Okay, that's not gonna fly. You need to go over here. I'm running back and forth this whole time. No, uh-uh. Where are you going? Bro, plant a seed already, would you? Hold on. Farming patch, seed box. Oh, I need to put it in the seed box so that he can grab it from the seed box, I guess. And then we'll put the seed box over here, might as well. These guys are making me angry. <laughs> like, you don't need to sleep. We just checked. You're already awake. But we're growing some seeds now, so that's good. Finally. Yeah, now he's not tired. Okay. So we're going to cut some wood. Build our final tent. Recruit. What's his name again? Ray. Something. <laughs> I forget. Whatever his name is, we're going to build him a little tent. Yeah, let's put it right here. Close to the bears. Just make sure he's not getting too comfortable, you know? Comfort is the enemy to progress, as they say. And we probably need a janitorial station. They're using that... <laughs> They're using that thing quite frequently. Well, we can't afford it, so just kidding. All right, recruiting our final guy, Gareth. That's right. Another runner. All right, um, so we can't actually... Can we cook something? Maybe we can throw it in there, but <laughs> I don't think it's going to end well. Um, do we have anything in our cookbook that's going to help us here? Oh, we do. Okay. We got runts. We only have runts in these, like, berries. But not that runt. We got that runt. I don't think we can cook anything with it yet. So with that in mind... Do some traveling. 
Do some swimming action right here. There's lots of ducks that want to join your flock. Isn't that nice? Awesome. <laughs> so now we know how to swim. That's huge. Ah, okay. I see how this is going to work. So now we want to travel back home to the flock. And then we can do some swimming training. We'll have to swap out. Ah, and we can swim to the other side of the river. Alright, love to see it. Let's do some swimming training. See what that entails. And we obviously have to go with Walter, because he's goaded at swimming. He's a natural, you could say. Avoid the obstacles. Aye aye, Captain. Oh, dude, Walter's just cooking. He's gone. <laughs> he ain't stopping for nobody. Alright, just keep making your way up here. Oh, and we got some hardwood. Look at that. I'm afraid that if I touch one of these things, I'm going to instantly die. I'm trying to be extra cautious. But yeah, we're kind of just doing work out here. Duck root seeds, thank you. Do a little weaving back and forth. Can't catch me. Oh, <laughs> it's a mine. Yeah, you can't touch that thing. All right, all right, back out of here. Let's start building some more. Okay, so we can build anything over there. Now I have enough hardwood as well. Um, okay, so I'm thinking, here's my thought. Janitorial station's gonna go over here, and we're gonna move the toilet to this side as well. Just so it's like, you know, further away. You get a nice clean little booty when you swim back over, you know? We got a bustling little camp going here. Look at this. Um, I feel like... Oh, no. We, we already had one duck, so we only recruited two so far. Do I have to build that specific decoration? I don't like that one. Hold on. Oh, man. It's all modern, dude. Come on. I don't want a decorative tree, because I'm going to think I can chop it down. I'll go lamppost on the street corner. Gonna be the plan. Headmaster Hoot. 20 crystal feathers. Crystallized duck happiness. Whatever you want to call it. Whatever helps you sleep at night. Okay, so apparently you two... Oh no, you can swim. Like apparently they can't swim, but they definitely can. Okay, so we're waiting for this farm patch to grow. You're training this homie on swimming, so that's good. Kind of? Are you just talking about swimming? Oh, so this little tracker, the number here, doesn't increase until you increase your level. I see. Um, okay. Well... I feel like this is a good spot to end the first episode. We got a little introduction to the different training modes. We got a few ducks. We got our camp going. Next time, I think we're going to have to, one, train up a little more, and two, learn how the heck to cook. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, we're going to need to search for a lot of ingredients. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you think of the game. Did you play Duck Life growing up? I think it's pretty fun. It's very similar to the other game. We have to get a little more familiar with the different trainings and stuff, but so far so good. Definitely more to come.